Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is exactly seven days until Remars, and I am just slightly panicking. So, uh, this is Tuesday night, Tuesday night, June 14th, and we are cutting things. Yes. I'm sure it's supposed to smoke that much. Uh, we are chopping down the top plate so it'll fit. Here, let me show you. So we've got a whole bunch of hat plates made. And for the old servo, they, they fit quite nicely. But the new hat is thicker at the base. And it's got these extra flare points so the welds won't break as frequently. And we have to cut away some of the hat pattern in order to make it fit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now Wednesday, and I'm in a strange place that you haven't seen before. This is Weiss Carver Machines, but specifically Rob's office, where he has his awesome 3D printer, and he is mark forging for us all the different parts. It is now only six days until I have to show up with this robot finished. <laughs> Yay! And, and the panic is setting in, but I'd like to thank Rob for staying calm, even when I'm not. And uh, let's show you what we made. My teammate, Rob. Say hi, Rob. Hi. <laughs> the internal parts you never see, except here on the Builder Blog. Uh, this is actually one of the funner steps. So the 3D printer has to put filler material, and what's always fun is when you grab it and start, oh, tip, not like that. You grab it, and then it just, like a ribbon, <laughs> it comes out. This is the bottom half that's going to mount to the robot. We take the rage bridge and it tucks right in here. You take your receiver and it tucks right into this corner, the top piece. And these four holes line up to the four tap holes on the bottom of the Castle XLX2. So that just clicks right on here. Tighten it down. Oh, it's beautiful. And now that piece sticks. We're eventually gonna put four screws in that. And then these cables feed into this slot. We're gonna fold this over a couple times so we can get a zip tie on it. Clip. And then we're going to plug this into channel two. And it all magically <laughs> clicks together to a beautiful so these two will go to the weapon switch these two will go to the battery this plugs into our servo this goes to the weapon motor and then the weapon motor leads plug in here and my god that's a beautiful electronics box that looks really professional <laughs> good job Jack. Oh, good job making it Rob so tonight we are going to put all the wiring in. Hopefully we will be doing a radio check and even a fail-safe test on the new robot. How many days left, Zach? Eh, might be five. Might be five. Probably should have wired it before five. <laughs> uh, but I was All the things are in there. All the things are in there. That's what Just don't make it explode. <laughs> I'll try not to. Yeah. Well, this cable looks like hell. This cable has seen better days. I don't know what you're talking about. That no. looks fine. I don't like solder joints in the middle of it. So I am going to replace it with a new one. And congratulations to Ollie, or Allie. I'm not sure exactly how to say your name. But you picked uh, the Hypershock team, and uh, you got... We we spun the wheel of random and placed our finger on a comment, and you won! Ha <laughs> ha! So, please answer our comment, and Diana will get a Scorpios poker chip on its way to you after Remars. Congratulations. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, if you had to fight one of the eight robots at Remars, which one would you want to fight? Leave your comment and explain why. And to make the day even better... We had a wild Dan show up. That's how you know this is truly crunch time.
We have like 18 <laughs> floppity jillion people here. What are you working on, Dan? I'm working on motors. Whoa. Does it work? Yeah. I'm going to do this for spinning a weapon. Yes. Next Scorpios will be Dan powered. It's going to go really fast. You've heard it. <laughs> Got to go fast. Yeah. Hey, Scorpios Builder Blog. I'm here at Osh with Ev. We are here to look for some screws for our brushless motor. We want something that will fit in here. Oops. <laughs> and go all the way down to there. Let's see if we can figure We're it out. Looking for a long 1032 cap screw. I ain't gonna live forever. Oh, we found it. Look at that. It's perfect, right, Ev? <laughs> <laughs> I know how to operate phones really well. Look at how my finger is just in the... There we go. Yeah. So, sadly, they did not have what we needed. So, we are gonna have to go go back and order off good old McMaster car. So... We tried. Go team! Woo! Woo! Only <laughs> 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 three robots <laughs> remain <laughs> here at the bash. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is June 18th, which means today is my birthday. And I'm spending it the way I always spend my birthdays fighting robots. So I'm actually here with my uncle, Father Mark. Uh, he was actually the priest that married me and Diana, or Diana and I. <laughs> and I, we're here with his church group today, throwing them a robot party. But Remars is uh, three days, four days, three or four days away. So uh, as soon as we wrap up this party, we're gonna go home and get to work on Scorpios. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is going to be our first power-up test on the brand new drive system on number seven. Uh, so I got my radio on. I've got my wheels off the ground, putting in the power key. And hopefully, oh, that's a good noise. That's a second that's a good. second good noise. I'm going to push forward. Let's see if we get forward. This one seems not to be moving. Indeed. Oh. oh, it's not plugged in. Say hi, Will. Hi, Will. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly how I hoped that would go. So clever. Yes, yes, <laughs> indeed. Look at all of these robots. Robots for days. And a puppy. This is Pippa. She is very fierce and amazing. And has Say hi, Pippa. Hi, Pippa. Here. So when this turns, the whole arm comes down. So we have to reassemble this. So we have the safety shackle for the flamethrower arm. We have to uh, get this connected so that it will match with these so that we can by our wonderful hey. weapons operator. That's me. Hey. Non-Father's Day. This is my father and mother. Well, John hello. and Connie have come to pay us a visit. Oh yeah, happy Father's Today is Sunday, and it's June 19th. And for those of you who don't know, it's Father's Day. And we have a special guest on the Builder Blog today. This is John Lytle, my dad. <laughs> oh. So when I was 13 years old, this is the man who drove me to San Francisco to go compete at the International Robo Games and then proceeded to take me out to the SRJC every Wednesday and Monday night so I could get all the machine and engineering training at the junior college when I was a teenager. And I'm very happy here on Father's Day to have him wrenching on the bot with me. Uh, so, do you have any words you want to say to the internet, Dad? Well, uh, I forgot all of that uh, transporting of you. <laughs> It was ages ago. That was a, yeah, I was just going to say, that was a few years ago. <laughs> but to everyone out there, a big happy Father's Day. 
and to Alan, Steve, and Dave, all the other fathers on the Scorpios team, I do want to wish a big happy Father's Day. So happy Father's Day, everybody. So what's going on, Captain Zach Sparrow? All right, now we are mounting the new Spartan armor. What? For the first time. And we are discovering all the things that it's do wrong. and do not work. Mom. Um, there are parts that are working just fine. Can I have the mallet? <laughs> so Dan, this is the new one that we've never made before. And uh, what happened when we put it on the scale? Uh, it was 500 pounds. We're submitting a walker. No, no, that looks like 247 to me. And we've got the oh. three actual batteries. Sorry, rounding error. <laughs> rounding error. <laughs> but there it is. The new Scorpios. It actually weighed in. Have we ever had a robot weigh in on our first try before? I don't think we have. I think every robot we've had to cut something off or grind. <laughs> no, don't. Well, first step is to get it on the cart. Yeah, then we have to get it in the van. You ready, Rob? Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Woohoo! On the cart. Success. <laughs> Heidi, will you go open the door for us? Is that thunder we hear? No, that's just the intense intensity of Scorpius. Hi, baby. So what's going on in there? Oh, well, this is how you make more Scorpioses. You put two Scorpioses on top of each other. Oh my. Put some berry weight on, and then you just leave them alone. Oh my. Well, everybody, it's Tuesday. I just got off work. Diana's been packing the van all day. It's very dark outside, but we are driving to Las Vegas. Um, we will post up a new video probably Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure. This is going to be a crazy, crazy couple days. Mm -hmm. But uh, we will be recording. We'll let you guys see everything that gets brought to Remars. Eventually, BattleBots will post the fights. Uh, so I can't show you the fights, but we are going to go hang out with the Jackpot team on Friday. So stay tuned. Please subscribe and like. And uh, we're going to Vegas. Vegas, baby. See you on the next episode. Three, four. <laughs> we will, we will rock, rock you. you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> The, the thing physically got stuck. Oh, yeah, the wheel does that sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Buddy, you're a big one. Da, da, da. Being the seat, gonna make on the world someday. You got mud on your face. You big disgrace. We will rock all over this place. Singing Scorpios will rock you. Scorpios will rock you!